let's talk about how to merge or join two data frames together. The specific context we have in mind is a situation where you have unique observations split across multiple data frames, and you would like to merge or join all the information into a single data frame. We're going to use the data frames TBL4A and TBL4B to illustrate how you might merge two data frames together. You can see that TBL4A has information related to different countries and different years. And we have this column cases, which represents the number of tuberculosis cases for each country in that year. We have similar information in TBL4B, though instead of having a cases column, I have a population column, which indicates the size of the country in the different years. This is actually a pretty trivial example. The unique observations are identified by country name and year. So Afghanistan in 1999 is one observation. Afghanistan in 2000 is a different observation. And we can see identical observations in TBL4A and TBL4B. So in this case, if we wanted to merge the information, we literally could just take this column right here and add it at the end of the data frame up here. So that would be a very simple solution in this particular context. But imagine a situation where we did not have identical rows. Perhaps these are in a different order, or we have some observations in one data frame that are not in the other data frame. How would we go about merging the data frames in those particular cases? The best approaches for merging two data frames are to use the base merge function or one of the dplyr join functions. And what these functions do is they uniquely identify the different observations in two data frames, and then they merge the information in the two data frames into a single data frame via the by argument. By default, the by argument figures out which variables are common to both data frames and assumes that those variables uniquely identify the observations in the two different data frames. Alternatively, you can specify the by argument manually to indicate which columns you want to use to join the observation for the two different data frames together. Let's illustrate the usage of the merge function below. The X and Y arguments of the merge function indicate the data frames that you want to merge. The by argument indicates the shared columns in the two data frames that you want to use to match the different observations. If the columns you want to use to match the observations do not have the same name in the two different data frames, then there are some other arguments, specifically by.x and by.y, that you can use to manually tell R which columns you need to use in which data frame to uniquely match the observations that you need to join together. So in our example, to merge TBL4A and TBL4B, since the columns that uniquely identify a row or an observation are common to both data frames, we can simply use the merge function by default and give TBL4A as the X argument and TBL4B as a Y argument. And the function is going to know that each observation corresponds to a unique combination of country and year. And then it's going to take the cases and population values from the original data frames and merge them together into a single data frame. So we do that for every single country of every single year for this particular data set. You can see that I've done something similar below, though I've manually specified which columns I want to match. This actually doesn't do anything different in this case because these are the common columns across both of the data frames. And so this will produce identical results here. But let's say, for example, we didn't want to use both country and year. We wanted to use some other variable. We could indicate the name of the column here to uniquely match the rows that we want to join together horizontally. If you want to stay within the tidyverse ecosystem to join two data frames together, then you can use one of the join functions that are available in dplyr. These functions also have x, y, and by arguments that work identically to the merge function, though they implement the joining in slightly specific ways. So left underscore join merges the rows of y that matches the rows of x into x. So if an observation is in X, it finds any observation that, that matches that in Y and takes the information from Y and merges it into X. However, if Y has additional rows that are not included in X, those rows will not be merged in the new data frame. Right underscore join does the opposite. Instead, it merges the rows of X that match the rows of Y into Y. So if there is an observation in Y, it finds the identical observations in X and pulls that information into the same row of Y. Inner underscore join merges the rows of X and Y that are common to both data frames. So it figures out which observations are in both X and Y and pulls the information from the two data frames into a single data frame. Full underscore join works a little differently. 
it finds the observations that are in X and the observations that are in Y, and it pulls the observations from the two data frames. So if there is an observation in Y that's not in X or in X that's not in Y, that will be included in the merged data frame. Though because the observation may not be in both data frames, you might get some NA values in the merged data frame because the data may be missing. I'd encourage you to use question mark dplyr r colon colon inner underscore join to see more detailed examples of how these might work. In our case, since the rows or observations of the two data frames are exactly the same, then any one of these joins is literally going to produce identical results. So in, my so in this case, I decided to use full underscore join. I give it the two data frames, TBL4A and TBL4B. It will automatically figure out which columns are common to the two different data frames and use those to uniquely identify the rows or the observations, and it merges them together. One of the nice things about using the dplyr join functions is that it will clearly indicate which variables are used to join the rows across the two different data frames. So if for some reason you want to do something different, you can clearly see that and go back to the original function and change it to manually specify the by argument. However, we can see that basically we get the exact same results as before, but because we're in the tidyverse, we get a tibble instead of a data dot frame, but otherwise the results are functionally the same.